think about where is wireless going to be really effective in the future, I feel like it's going to be in more urban areas, competing with cable, being the second option in an area, as opposed to being the first option in a rural area. There is only one network, and that's the wired network. We just use a little bit of wireless at the end, whether it's Wi-Fi right. in your house or cellular, mm -hmm. right? Uh, or worse yet, you know, sort of macro cell um, bandwidth. But there is really only one network, uh, and that's the wired network. So we're only talking about a matter of degree. And if you don't have good fiber distribution in a city or in a county or in a state, um, you're not going to have good wired or wireless. I mean, that's just the physics of it, right? Because the wire, you're not going tens of miles uh, with with high capacity on wireless today. Yeah. So our neighborhoods that we've been in for in the early years are over 70% take rate, but it, you know, it gets to be less and less about the technology and more and right. more the customer service. Right, exactly. Do, do you answer the telephone if somebody has a problem and we roll a truck out and fix the problem within 30 minutes? You know, if the, it, it, is it stable? Has, has the neighbor's internet hasn't gone down for eight years? You know, those are the things that start resonating. And now that there's really decent streaming television options where you don't have to do right. classic linear television... And I also hate to say this as people age out and they sell their homes and, you know, move to Florida or whatever, you know, <laughs> when the younger people move in, they immediately, they'll move to the area specifically for high speed and high quality right. broadband. It's not just about getting speed to the home, it's about getting speed through the home. And how do you do that right. and deliver that? Mm -hmm. that? Because if, if you're ending up being bottlenecked, um, inside the home, the user is not going to see an appreciable difference in performance. And so it's really, you have to think about it from a system perspective. None of this kind of conversation gets brought up when we're talking about government programs or bills or, or the rest of it. 